This is Piero Bonamico, Creative Director of the Choral Excellence Series. We have been producing and distributing books and videos that entertain, educate, and inspire since the spring of 1999, and we are very excited about our new podcast series and other online offerings. For more information about our videos, or to subscribe to the podcast, please visit us at choralexcellence.com. Cordelia, 14. Emma, 13. Hannah, 12. Christy, 12. Olivia, 11. Allison, 10. Abigail, 10. Uh, Travis, 15. Sam, 14. Julian, 14. Connor, 13. Zach, 13. Ethan, 12. Coulter, 11. Andrew, Andrew, 10. Kyle, 10. Great. So we, we see that we have not only, what, what I can see here is that we have not only different voices, but I also see different heights and, all of, and different body shapes and sizes, and that's really kind of interesting. Because I didn't know these students, I needed to do what you probably need to do at the beginning of every year. I needed to find a non-threatening way to engage these students in vocal production, a trick, if you will so that I could find out where we might begin to explore where their singing voice might be. One technique I used was counting backwards from 20 to 1 to figure out from their speaking voice where their singing voice might lie. Another approach was to use an object like a ball or even a bigger beach ball or something like that to encourage the students to make a sound in a vocal range that was comfortable for them. And from that, I might determine where to begin. But it's so important for us to start where the students are. If I play a G on the piano and I ask a boy to sing that G and that student can't match that pitch and then I say, you can't match pitch, I'm sorry, but I'm wrong. The student can match pitch. The student can match the pitch he can match. And I'm the one that's not matching him. All students, if they can speak, can sing. It's a question of how much, when, and where. And that's our job, to start wherever that is. So if a student can only phonate on a couple of notes, I need to find those notes, and that's where I need to start. So in this whole process, I began with finding out where the students could speak, where they could be comfortable vocalizing, and then that's where I began. We hope that you've enjoyed this sample from our library. For more information or to order the complete video, please visit us at www.choralexcellence.com. Thanks for watching.